I'm a very typical small town Iowa kid. I grew up in Boone, Iowa. My sister and I were raised by a single mother and uh, we did not have financial resources. And so I didn't have the ability to do something like go to a basketball camp. That was $100 and, and we couldn't afford that. My friends both in high school and college would talk about that she's just the best mom. And uh, she gave us every opportunity, every support we could ever ask for. We didn't have organized sports at that time, so probably in sixth and seventh grade, we played over at the Y. In the ninth grade, I was on the varsity, so, so for four years did that. The decision for me to go into medicine and, and to be a doctor was made before I was born. I don't think the decision to come to Iowa was made before I was born, but that's where the medical school was. I, I was going to Iowa no matter what, and there's no question that the ability to continue to do something that I loved, to play basketball, was an additional benefit to that. Somebody said once that memories are snapshots, and, and they're probably more snapshots than films, right? And so certainly I remember those without, without question. But really to me, the more important things and the biggest memories that I have are the time that I spent with teammates. So the travel, the dorm rooms, those are really the memories that I hold. There's always another challenge in our lives, right? And there's always something more to go for. And I was the, uh, the only colorectal surgeon in a wide area, so there was unending work. And so building a practice um, got very busy, and that's all I did started thinking back about everything that athletics had done for me and all the lessons that I had learned, the opportunities that I had, and everything that athletics had given me. And it was through that that I really got, got reconnected. The reason that I am so tied to the university is because of the people here. And I know, for instance, in the athletic department, I know what the character and the integrity of Gary and Barbara and all the, and the coaches that I know, I know where their heart is. I know that the student athlete is the most important thing. If you get to spend any time around our student athletes, you'll find out how tremendously impressive they are. Their athletics, their studying, they are such impressive people to accomplish all these things and to do it so successfully. And then when they leave, to be successful. And if I can support that in any fashion, I would just love to do so. I was very grateful and very fortunate that I could do both. Black and Gold Opportunity Fund that will serve all programs and then the coaching endowment that is specifically to honor Lisa and all the coaches that have gone before her. Coaches are so influential in our lives. And good coaches know us very, very well. They know how to motivate us. They can see potential in us that probably we can't see in ourselves. They help us grow every single day to be better, not only as athletes, but also as people. And there is no question that Coach Bluter and her staff epitomize that. The chance to be able to honor that, to promote that, to let them know how much uh, I appreciate that and to recognize them, that's really what was important to me. I think it's only natural when we look to give back that we look at the things that have been so influential in our lives. And I described how influential athletics were. One student athlete doesn't put any more into it than another. And so it was important for me to give opportunity to everyone. Winning is great, there's no question about that, but that isn't my main focus. My main focus is to, to give people the opportunities that are available through athletics. So to me, athletics are really just the arena, if you will, for young people to grow, to learn those lessons that, that we all learn through athletics.
The Heartland is brought to you by Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield, serving Iowans for more than 80 years. This season, choose health care coverage you can count on from Wellmark. The Iowa Hawkeyes looking for victory number 20 on the season. None more important than today's as they will take on the Kentucky Wildcats. Here's Clark. Pulls up for three left wing oh, and yeah. trills it from the left wing. The Hawks go up seven to nothing. Timeout, Kentucky. Both teams scrap for the ball. The Hawks come up with it. Clark, down court pass to oh. Sonato. In transition, right-handed layup, good. Gets it back out to Clark. Screen, Sonato. Clark for three left wing. Oh, Got it. Good. All over was Robin Benton. <laughs> 19 for Clark with 5-10 left to go in the second quarter. Clark gets the rebound, drives in, scoop shot off the window, count it, and she's fouled. Taiwo across the timeline, right wing, gets in the paint all the way to the hoop, left-handed shot off the window is good with one second. Where's what a way girl, to finish. Toby Taiwo, gosh. Fire third quarter for Toby Taiwo. Clark has it. Caitlin all the way to the rim. Drops it off for Sonano. Dumps it in with the left hand. Sonano does a ball fake. Says, see it. A three Kentucky defenders to get that to go in. As Iowa. We're going to the Sweet 16. The Hawkeyes 86. Kentucky 72. Yeah, I was feeling my shot early there in the first half, so um, when it's going, you, have to, you just keep shooting it. But I think it was a whole team effort. I think I thought everybody was knocking down shots. It wasn't just me. Monaco was scoring inside. McKenna hit a few threes. Gabby hit a three. Tommy was driving to the hole. So um, it was a balanced team scoring effort all throughout the game. So I think that's what led us to stretch out that whole lead. I'm extremely thrilled. I mean, here we are. I mean, look at our team at the beginning of the year. Um, nobody had us even receiving votes in the top 25, and we just kept believing in ourselves. And I, I am so happy for my team. I'm so happy. I mean, we're a young team, and we're going to build on this. The Heartland is brought to you by Hy-Vee. Save time and shop online with Hy-Vee Isles Online. Go to islesonline.com to get started. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. There are many loyal alumni from the University of Iowa, but few are as passionate and dedicated than Will and Renee Moon of Bettendorf. Will is a 1983 accounting graduate from Iowa's Tippy College of Business, who is a successful transportation entrepreneur and business owner. Will's wife, Renee, is a 1988 graduate of the University of Iowa College of Dentistry and went on to establish a family dental practice in Cedar Rapids. Not only are the Moons professionally successful, they're intensely focused on helping Iowa athletics to be more successful. We grew up in Ottumwa, Iowa, and my whole family were Iowa Hawkeyes. I have a brother who's older, who went to undergrad there, and that was during the losing seasons, but we still went to the football games. My freshman year, basketball, it was first come, first serve for tickets, so we camped out in front of the field house. A bunch of us from Ottumwa, I had pizza delivered to the front steps of the field house and we got basketball tickets. Sat in the old field house behind the pillars, loved it. And then our sophomore year, January, we moved to the Carver Hawkeye Arena. But once you got priority, you could keep going to the basketball games. And we went to all of them, basketball and football, all through, all through the eight years I was here. It was Will and Renee's love for the university that helped bring them together in 2009. Their first date was at the airliner in downtown Iowa City, where they watched the Hawkeye football team up in Penn State. Since then, they've cheered on countless more Iowa wins inside Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, while following the Hawkeyes to many road games and postseason events. This love for all things Hawkeyes led to a commitment to giving back to Iowa. Today, the Moons are two of Iowa Athletics' most generous supporters and they're committed to ensuring future generations of players, coaches, and fans can make their own lasting Hawkeye memories. 
The couple recently made one of the most significant gifts in the history of Iowa athletics that will support the needs and advancement of the Hawkeye football program for decades to come. The Moon Family Football Head Coaching Fund will support Coach Ferentz and Iowa football leadership in perpetuity. And the Will and Renee Moon Excellence Fund will provide unrestricted support for Iowa football and other athletics initiatives, including support for the Kinnick Edge campaign, which revitalized Kinnick Stadium's north end zone seating and concourse. I mean, obviously I hope it helps the program. The program is not just, to me, is not just winning the games. I mean, what I've been so impressed with over the years is the quality of coaches. I mean, like okay. I said, Kirk and Mary are just Shakira's coach, but she's part of the team. Oh yeah, they are. They are very impressive, very nice individuals, very uh, uh, heartfelt and honest. Well, you know, I've, I've gotten to know the Moons uh, just through their involvement in the program. It goes back years ago. Um, Will Will had has always had an interest in strength conditioning, so uh, he helped us back uh, years ago with some some uh, upgrades in the strength conditioning field. Uh, you know, he and Renee made a very generous donation, and they've continued to be very. Uh, supportive of our program and uh, one of the side benefits uh, which I never saw coming uh, being the head coach here is I've gotten to uh, know a lot of really really neat people and really impressive people and Will and Renee are certainly in that category they're just uh, they've been really generous with us but more importantly uh, it's just you know it's delightful to spend time with them and uh, socially and just learn more about their stories their lives their accomplishments the things that they've done their families and um, I really you know, never saw that coming 22 years ago, but that's really been one of the bigger uh, benefits, I think, of, of these 22 years. I've met a lot of really impressive people, and Will and Renee right there on that list. They're just tremendous folks. Will and Renee's support of UI Athletics as donors began more than 20 years ago when Will joined a group of Hawkeye fans and ambassadors called the Davenport Quarterback Club at the invitation of former Hawkeye Jim Hilgenberg, a 1977 graduate. Will and Renee soon became loyal iClub members and provided financial support to a number of UI athletics projects, including the Kinnick renovation completed in 2006, the Carver Hawkeye Arena expansion and refurbishment completed in 2011, and construction of the Hanson Football Performance Center completed in 2014. For many years, Will and Renee have purchased blocks of season tickets for football and basketball that they've given away to employees and friends. After receiving more bottles of wine as thank yous than they knew what to do with, they established the Will and Renee Moon Athletic Scholarship in 2019 with an initial donation. They now redirect those thank you gifts and Christmas gifts to support student athletes. It takes more than just people going in and buying $20 tickets. It takes you know people to donate, it takes people to to, to get to that next level. I really like the idea of the Football Performance Center, you know, because that is something that's tangible that actually helps us be more competitive. Big weight room and a place to work out. And so that was kind of my first, our first, yeah, we were married, but it, so that was kind of our first um, big support, um, what I would consider big support, because I really like the idea of that and you know the, the stadiums and stuff are nice but there's, there's much for the fans <laughs> or more for the fans but uh, the perform performance center was for the uh, was for the players i see coach barons taking these young men and not only teaching them a skill in football but in life and i think everybody in the stadium is there for that and for them and if we can do back in black again i want to be there <laughs> We we're so fortunate, you know, we don't have a heavy, heavy populated state. We don't have a big corporate uh, presence in our state. Yet we have a lot of people that have been really committed to the program and looked out for our program and helped support it, um, you know, financially, but also in other ways too. And it, it's really greatly appreciated. There, there's no way we could achieve at the level we've been able to achieve without th that kind of support. It's just, it's absolutely critical. And, you know, as a result of that, I'm extremely appreciative. I just feel very fortunate. Today's broadcast is powered by Extreme Internet. Feel the speed, feel the power, feel extreme.
U.S. Cellular is proud to be the official wireless sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular, connecting the Hawkeye Nation. to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Athletico Physical Therapy, it all starts here. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team in raising money for every free throw made by the Hawkeyes all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches vs. Cancer program here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa. In our next Heart of the Hawkeyes feature, we are featuring Mike Beal. He's been attending Hawkeye football games and women's basketball games for more than 35 years. From watching Vivienne Stringer take the women's basketball team to the Final Four, to the 1981 Rose Bowl with Hayden Fry, Mike and his wife Patsy have been Hawk fans for life. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.